Hey guys, it is February 28th, 2024, and this is Reconquista 79. Uh, for any new viewers, what this, uh, see, what this series technically is, is me trying to achieve certain life goals. The two main ones that we have right now are to get rid of all my debt and also to get back to 170 pounds. So as for today, when I, what I wanted to do was wake up at 7, Bible at 7.30, gym, and, gym push day at 8.30, stretch at 9.30, soccer at 10, edit at 11, strata music at 1, eat at 2, work at 3, and then go to sleep at 11. And I forgot to put the sleep time, but I remembered it. So let me write it down real quick. <laughs> what I actually ended up doing was I woke up at 8, uh, Bible at 9.07, I went to the gym at 9.30, I stretched at 10.49, I went to play soccer at 12.40, I didn't edit until 2.30 p.m., I did not do strata music, I'm falling into a bad habit of not doing it, so I want to catch on, uh, I, I want to get back into it, and uh, I ate at 2, and then ended up going to work at 5, and I didn't sleep until 12.20 a.m., the reason I've been sleeping kind of late is because primarily I'm not extremely tired at that time, so I've been doing, um, the, the balance sheet and stuff like that. I think, with the, I'll talk about it right now. As for the daily production, I did zero TikToks, two Bumble Prime videos, and I did $85.63, coming for a total of $196.90 out of 333. So not bad, but I still have to do better. As for the fix, I put TikTok and Insta, intro, the January balance sheet, taxes and applications. Applications, I do them every day. Taxes, I have not started. The January balance sheet, how can I explain this? It's cooked. Because I don't know the numbers very well. And I think, well, it's about to be March in like two days. Or, yeah, in like two days. So, I will probably start just for March going forward. I should have started this in January 1st. But I was didn't know what I was doing. And now that I, that I actually attempted to do January and February, I figured out that it was probably going to be impossible for me to do uh, the way that I wanted to do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be starting March 1st. So, January balance sheet, let me scratch it out. And I'll be done with that. Uh, TikTok and Insta in the intro. Uh, I feel like my my intro is gonna be so cringe, <laughs> but it's always it's only gonna be like thirty seconds, right? So I should probably get that done quick. And then the TikTok and Insta, I should start soon. I actually already have the stuff to start it, so I'll probably do the first couple videos this week. And the taxes, I need to get that done um, before April, so there's not a big hurry. But I just want to get them done now. So uh, for notes and reflections, I put a pretty normal day today. I could have done better at going to work early, but the cold deterred me. Huh? Yes. Uh, if you don't live from Chicago, Chicago is so weird with the weather. If you guys saw the previous video, I went from, you know, going to the park, going to go play soccer with a shirt on. And I think I was wearing the long pants that time, but it was hot. It wasn't hot. It was just like kind of like, okay, it was cool. It was like 60 degrees the next day it was like 17 degrees it went from like 60 sunny to like 17 and i i went full bundled up gloves um my hey what's it called i was gonna say hat tonight to, um what's it called the beanie or whatever so yeah i went from one day just with a shirt uh being able to go to the park and, and you know not feel cold to the next day literally needing full gear in order to go and play so yeah, the weather is crazy. I was being deterred by the cold. Um, it's oh, they call it like fake spring here, where they tricks you and makes you believe that um, warmer weather is coming. It is indeed not, <laughs> and it was so windy. It was so cold. I was um, I was also watching the sh the show The Chosen, and I'm hooked. Um, yeah, so The Chosen, I think is I don't know. I think it's in, like in the independent. Um, like organization just doing kind of like a series on the new testament of jesus and him building uh kind of like a following and it's so good it was so good and well it is because i haven't finished it so but it's so good but what really has me thinking is jesus christ performing miracles in front of people just seeing them in the show got me teary-eyed but just imagine being there while he's performing these miracles how would i ever react I would think there would be a trick, but some are explainable that you have to accept it. How do people not instantly follow him either? I would have gone for sure. Or maybe I don't, or maybe I don't get it. Uh, maybe if he tells you to follow him, it's cool. And if not, you don't want to be rude. Even the little hats. Okay, so I'll stop there. 
so yeah, they were performing like a bunch of miracles in no, not them. Well, he, Jesus was performing miracles. The ones I saw was he helped a man walk again, the wine, and what else did he do? Uh, well, he kind of like expelled uh, a demon from Mary. I don't, I haven't read this part of the book. I haven't read the New Testament, so I don't know. I'm, I might be, you know, not knowledgeable about it. I'm just going th through what I saw in the show. Um, and the demon was Lilith, and we know there's some connection to that with the devil, and you know. But uh, the girl's name was Mary, so I think that's come a couple of things he do. He did because um, I don't know why there's this propaganda that like we humans can expel demons from people, but that's not true. Only God can do that, or Jesus. So he did that, and that kind of that was like his first miracle, showing that he can expel demons uh, from people. But what I was wondering about, it was just like, wow, like that's crazy. I was, I was just thinking, I guess I put myself in this situation, right? Like, what if I was there witnessing like these miracles? How would I even think and how would I even react? Because I uh, like, I didn't want to think this way, but I was thinking about when well, revelations, they talk about how there will be like a fake um, Messiah, right? Like the Antichrist who fools humanity. Um so how is it okay to be doubtful that's what i'm worried that's what i'm thinking about because well i guess not back then right because they were waiting for the messiah but now they're saying they were gonna get a you know a fake a phony one uh the antichrist they will fool us he he'll make us believe that he is uh jesus so is it better to be doubtful now because imagine, um, like, yeah, I don't know, like, because the, the Antichrist, they, they'll say that he'll be so believable that, like, most people will fall for it. So, like, but if he performed, like, a miracle in front of you, are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, imagine you think, okay, so I was thinking like this. He comes, he performs a miracle, and then you know the next one is the fake one, right? But how would you even be like, nah, you're the fake one, <laughs> when then you just saw him perform a miracle, right? And then you doubt yourself and you think like, well, maybe it's not the thing. <laughs> like, so you don't know. But um, yeah, that was just things I was thinking about after. But I was just thinking there, like imagine just being there and then in that presence and then just witnessing that. Like, I feel like you have to go and be like, you know, like let me follow you. But he was choosing people. He was choosing people. So I was thinking maybe... If he chooses you, he chooses you for a reason. And if not, you're just there to like, you know, receive the message and, and then you gotta chill. Cause you don't wanna be annoying either. You don't wanna be like, you know, I gotta follow you everywhere. Cause then he's gonna be like, no, I didn't ask you to follow me. So, cause he, I think he's asked, I think they only have around like seven or eight or nine disciples right now. And he asked all of them to follow him. He says all of them to follow him and yeah, I think he has to ask you. I think he has to be like, hey, be part of my squad or be part of... Ah, oh, that sounds so bad. Uh, yeah, be one of my disciples. <laughs> sounds so cool. So much colloquialism. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I found this funny. I knew about this, but I didn't know they were going to put it in the show. But even the little heads then were causing mayhem. Yeah, so a lot of them were scared. I think, uh, I think you guys know what I mean by little heads. But... They were scared that they, they were going to lose, like, their power, I guess, like, their religious power. So when they saw him perform all these miracles and stuff, they were like, like oh, you know, like, oh, we have, we have saw someone who's going to disrupt order. So they were snitching on him. And I know that there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that the little hats were, you know, indirectly or directly responsible for his crucifixion like they made it happen now, the romans did it but they, they like you know they were behind the scenes playing 4d chess um found out a big reason for his persecution was persecution was caused by the little hats yeah i kind of went over this watching this media also has me questioning my life decisions. my life decisions am i chasing the right things but if i don't try to ch uh, okay so I'll, I'll first i'll leave it at that am i chasing the right things because 
I see this goes there, but I said, I said, but if I don't try to choose wealth, how can I take care of my family? Does everything have to be about my soul or is the answer and the commandments as some, uh, some each are rules for God and others are rules for how we treat each other. Because I think the commandments, there's like four of them for God and then the other six are for, for like community, for like how you treat others. So there's four for God and then six for people. So it's telling you how you should behave towards God and how you should behave towards people. So is there a balance in between? I, I know they talk about it a lot in the show about mind and spirit. And I've read a little bit in the Bible. I really need to finish the Bible. I'm going, I'm taking step by step because I'm reading carefully because I want to understand it. I, I don't want to just read it. I could, I could just read it and finish it in like a week or two, but I want to get it. I don't know if that makes sense. I want to get what it's trying to tell me and I don't just want to read it to read it. And, um, because, I don't know, I guess it's giving me knowledge. And then if I don't treat it as this, it's like trying to give me something, then I don't think I'll get the message. That's why I'm taking notes. That's why I'm, you know, taking it seriously and slowly. I could go faster, I guess, but I don't know. But yeah, that's what I was thinking about because um, uh, I think in the show, what's his name? I know his name, Matthew. It is Matthew, right? He was a tax collector. And I think it's Matthew. Actually, don't, don't trust me on it. Might look it up. Look it up. <laughs> but I think Matthew is the one who's a tax collector. And right there, he's chasing wealth. And he's, he's chasing... No, we're not chasing. It's just the life he chose, right? But at the end, he, he, ate, he gave it all up to go follow Jesus Christ. So it's just kind of like... Is that the path to follow? Like, this is, is everything supposed to be about your soul? And am I doing the right thing? Or, or maybe because they were special, right? I mean, they were the 12 disciples. Maybe it was meant for them. I don't know. I, I, I've been thinking about a lot. I probably should read the New Testament first. I heard a lot of people do that. But I like to go in order. I'm not gonna lie. I like to go over you know, from beginning to end. From beginning to end. Um, I quite like Genesis too. Genesis is like the the history of like it's the history of the world. So it's kind of like all the information and all the all the lore. So that's why I like it. It's like I was asking for it. I was asking for what really happened in the world. Uh, from things that are hidden from us, not in history class, not taught there, and I was given it. So <laughs> I do, I do like Genesis. God tells you like where we're living, how it was before, why things are the way they are. So now I'll just keep bringing it in order, honestly. So, but yeah, I have a lot of questions. I have like a lot of things that I'm thinking about that I don't exactly know what they mean. Um, but I guess I just have to continue reading, right? Uh, the answers should be written in the book, and I should find them. I just have to go and look for them. So I have to just finish reading the book. But uh, just interesting. The it's it's I get like a lot of information from the book, but seeing it, I'm sorry, but seeing it like in media, it just helps me a lot too. I need like a visual. I'm not gonna lie. I need, I'm not like, I need visual plus knowledge like for of information plus visual um how do i explain this it's easy when you read and then it's reinforced by video and then it's reinforced by like other media because i watch you know podcasts with people talking about it so you're watching the podcast you're reading the bible you have this uh media and then it all reinforces each other and then you start to understand it better if that makes sense but yeah i mean yeah that's pretty much all i talked about last night that's that was all was in my mind but as for the calories that I had, it was 3,070. I don't know if, I'll show the tacos here that I've been eating. And, um, I don't know if they're particularly healthy. Well, they're not healthy, I know they're not healthy, but I don't know if I'm particularly measuring those calories right because they're expensive calories wise. And then for my weight, I did 234.8. And as for the credit card debt, it's sitting at 1,680 and my stongs at 1,548.96. I am losing $15.57. Um, the stock market is booming right now. I'm very scared about this trade. I will remain faithful. I have until May for it to go back down. And I think it had happened. 
but uh, I have so much money in here and I need to pay bills. So I just need to work hard in order for it uh, to not let it affect me or for me to cover all my bills. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. See you guys next time. Adios.